Hello friends, it's Coop from Garage and Reviews, and today we're reviewing a dumbbell that there's a conspiracy around about why I haven't done them yet. There is no conspiracy. I just haven't done a review on them yet. So today we are doing a review on the Core Home Fitness Adjustable Dumbbell Set. One of the fastest changing dumbbells, one of the, I would say, probably best increment ranges, although it's not crazy high, but for the value, this is one of the most budget-friendly, quick adjustable dumbbells on the market. So, will these beat out the likes of the Power Blocks, the Nordic Tracks? Should you get these over the newer bells that are much more expensive, but everybody wants? We'll just have to stick around and find out. Let's do it. Okay, so adjustable dumbbells are one of the biggest, most popular product categories for home gyms. They take up very little space. There's a lot you can do with them. And now more and more, they're getting cheaper. There are so many on the market and so many are competing. Today I'm gonna to talk about these and I'm gonna talk about them in comparison to some others later on in the video. I will say there is an adjustable dumbbell on the way. I've heard from Rep Fitness that is designed to be in competition directly with this one. If you'd like to see that video, let me know in the comments. Also, make sure you subscribe because that one's gonna come out. Now, Core Home Fitness did send these so we could do a review if you'd like to purchase them. There's a link below like button that you can check out. It doesn't increase the cost that you pay, but does support us so I can keep buying adjustable dumbbells. Okay, so these have been around actually quite a long time. I've used these in the past. They've gone through some different design iterations in different colors, but by and large, I have gotten so many comments from people saying, Coop, why have you not reviewed these? So much so that people have started to come up with conspiracy theories about why I haven't reviewed them. I just haven't reviewed them because we didn't have them in house yet. That's the reason. We now have them in house, now I can review them, and also we can now do a new roundup because I was waiting on these to come in. Okay, this is what is so unique about these dumbbells. They're combining a lot of features from really expensive dumbbells, the ones that people really like, like new bells, into a form factor and price that is much more digestible for the average man and woman. Let's get into the things that I really like. Number one, they're a cageless design. So one of the most popular dumbbells in the world and one of my favorites are power blocks. They're extremely durable, but they can be very annoying for people that are used to going to commercial gym and using their fixed dumbbells. They don't like to be caged in. This is a cage-free dumbbell. As you can see, there's no cage. During use, this is one of the most balanced dumbbells because it feels like a normal dumbbell. It's more balanced than a Bowflex 552. It's also more compact. It feels very similar in use to something like a Newbell. And it's because it has a very similar design. Before you start thinking like they copied Newbell, the reality is this was out before Newbell. So I don't know who copied who, but I will say these probably inspire Newbell in some way because they have a very similar mechanism tray and pretty much everything about them, just at vastly different price points. So it has a balanced design. Also, you'll notice it's a rounded head, but one thing that's kind of smart about this is although it's a rounded head, they also put a little flat plate on the bottom. That way they don't roll around when you put them on the ground. So nice in that it feels kind of like a pro style dumbbell when you're actually using it. Although there is the material uses on this due to the price point, there is more plastic involved. So if you're wanting something that's just crazy durable, these aren't them. There are more durable dumbbells than these and that's what you'd expect for the price. But although they're very balanced, one thing I did notice because they're using a lot of plastic is there is some like creaking, just kind of like moving around, just expected with an adjustable dumbbell. Now, one of the things I like just a really lot about this is they're going from a five to 50 pound weight increment, but they're going in five pound increments. One, I really like a low start weight. So this is the five pound dumbbell. <laughs> I feel kind of goofy lifting this, just a little cute five pound dumbbell. But this is really nice because a lot of people like to use lighter dumbbells when they're doing prehab or rehab work. Now I do the same thing. If I'm doing any rotator cuff accessory, things like that, there are a lot of dumbbells out today, some of the higher end ones that don't have a start weight of anything less than like 10, 15, even like Pepin's, the Fast Series, the start weight is 20 pounds. So for a lot of people that are doing more accessory work or prehab rehab work, this is gonna be, accommodate pretty much anybody out there at a five pound increment. 
The other nice thing is these are made for the American market. So they're not using the metric system when they're weighing things out. They're not using kilograms, they're using pounds. And they're also not like reconverting it. We've seen that with a lot of dumbbells, say True Laps, where they had like these weird like 92.65 <laughs> pounds. That's annoying. I want, <laughs> I'm, I'm a simple man. I want five pound increments or two and a half pound increments. Nothing more, nothing less. That's great. And that's what these have. They go from five to fifties in five pound increments. And this is how they work. The way it adjusts is you simply twist the handle. So I just went from five to 10 pounds. You can hear it. It's got a nice, like, you can feel when it's locked in, you know when it's there. Also the weight increments are on the top in like highly legible numbers. You can see nice contrast on the white versus the black. So you just immediately know this is how much it is. You also know when it's locked in because it gives like that audible click. So you can go very quickly, like here I'm at five pounds. Let's say I'm supersetting tricep kickbacks with bench press. <laughs> Don't do tricep kickbacks, worst exercise out there. <laughs> just waste of time. But maybe I should do more tricep kickbacks, let me know. Five to 50 like that. So you're just ready to go that quick. So when you're wanting to go in between supersets or multiple people are using them, that's 20 pounds. I lock it in. Okay. I want to go to the next weight. Boom. Just like that. Very quick. It's very seamless and also has a nice sound and should be because these have been out very long. We've got a lot of people that have given their opinions on them. These should be pretty durable. In fact, I would say versus new bells, this five pound, although it's plastic, this will probably be more durable than the new bell five pound. And the reason being those things crack quite often if they fall off benches or off tables. Whereas this, it's like just a pretty hefty unit. This is not likely to break in the same way that those would. Other dumbbells you're really gonna be looking at in comparison to these are something like Bowflex. Like it seems like they even price these in competition to Bowflex. They're actually using the same colors as Bowflex. They have a similar weight increment as Bowflex. These are much better than Bowflex, just being honest. Bowflex is the Select Tech. I like the Select Tech dial, but I think like they need to update that design because these are much better even at a lower price point. They're a more compact dumbbell at every weight increment because if you're using the five pound, that's how small it is. But the largest size is still only 14 and a half inches. So it's not crazy big. The diameter of the heads is about eight inches, a little bit less than eight inches, which is pretty standard. It's a little bit bigger than what New Bell's using, but it's a very compact dumbbell that's also using a aluminum tray that is very similar to what New Bell is using for a much higher price point. Now, this is an honest review, so I'm gonna give my honest take on some of this stuff. The materials on this are not the nicest. Like they're using, they call it a durable coating, which tells me nothing about what the coating is. It's just like, we have durable coated weight plates, thanks. <laughs> they're plastic, they're, they're some sort of nylon. I'm guessing it's a cast iron and then with, on the outside, they're putting some sort of plastic on them. Um, they call it a durable coating, but it's just like, it feels a little bit cheapy, but it feels similar to what's used at other price points like Bowflex or MX Select. But the other thing, I think the most notable thing is actually the rod that they're using in here. So Nuabel is using an aluminum rod. One thing we noticed with these, because they have nothing on their website about it. These are using a plastic rod. So that rod right there is actually plastic. I don't know what form of plastic. I also don't know if there's an inner metal rod that's plastic wrapped around it, but just know this is what's holding the weight. I haven't heard of anybody complaining about these breaking and these have been out a lot in a lot of people's hands, but I just want to be clear, like these are honest reviews. It'd be amazing if they would have used aluminum. That's what other companies are using. I'm guessing they did that to hit the price point, but just be aware, because most people won't know this, because it's kind of hard to figure out how you get it out without the heads on there. It's a plastic rod. Okay, so then to the handle, you already know what I'm gonna say about this. It's a plastic rubberized handle. It feels very similar to what's used on Bowflex. Obviously, I prefer knurling. That's what I would like to see. But for the target market, this isn't like your heavy lifters dumbbell. Somebody buying Iron Masters may not be looking to buy this dumbbell. Like this goes up to 50 pounds. It's designed in such a way where it's very accessible. So I don't mind the handle for what it is. It feels pretty good. It's going to be long lasting. I prefer knurling, but I don't think it's a big deal. If you like a knurled dumbbell, just don't buy this one because they don't have knurling for it. One other thing to mention, Although a lot of adjustable dumbbells, they figure this out, there are still some out there that don't feel good when you put them on your knee. These have a flat plate on the end, right on the heads of most of the dumbbells, also on the very end, except for this little cap. Honestly, I wish they didn't have that little cap there. 
because that's gonna sit on your leg when you're doing 50 pounds. Not like the best feeling thing, but still it's mostly flat, so it won't feel as bad as say, a, as a loadable dumbbell or something like that. One thing I just realized, if you don't like this cap like me, just take that sucker off. <laughs> just sticks on there. Now we're good to go. Flat in plate. Okay, lastly is just the overall value. These are, with discounts, they're pretty much always running a sale. They're 350 bucks with free shipping. When you compare those to other dumbbells within the price range and within the weight range, I think these may be the best budget adjustable dumbbell at this point. Because they go from five to 50 pounds, they do so in a very quick change way, using very similar materials that Newabell's using, say on the stand. And our previous top pick within this price range was Nordic Track with their select weight 55 pound dumbbells that went up to 55s and were very quick to change, but they increased the price after our video. <laughs> so they're now 400 bucks. So you're, you got about a $50 difference. Um, when I get those versus these, they're five pounds more. They go in two and a half pound increments. They're very close. They also do have knurling, but man, there's just something to be said about this quick chain. It is just so nice, seamless. You don't have to take your hands off. You don't have to use two hands. You just drop and go. So thank you guys for continuing to like remind me and bug me about getting these. Um, they're a very good dumbbell. They're, I definitely recommend them for the price point. They may be the best value within the price point. You kind of have to decide between these and Nordic tracks, I think. If you want a dumbbell that's gonna increase over time, Power Block would probably be the way to go, although they're more expensive, but they do sell kits. But if you know, I just want a 50 pound dumbbell, I'm not gonna buy, I don't need a bigger, heavier dumbbell than that. And I want something that's quick changing. For the price, man, I, these are probably the ones. Like these are really, really good. Nathan asked if I slam them <laughs> because it makes it easier to change. No, it just feels good when you slam them. You don't have to slam them. You can, you, you know, if you just. It's okay. No. Get to work. But let me know of what you think of these dumbbells, especially if you've used them, because I know a lot of people, these have been like their home gym staple for some time. Um, sorry, it took so long to get to them. But also, would you like to see these in comparison to another dumbbell directly, or would you like to see a new roundup where we bring all of them in house and compare them? Let me know in the comments. This has been Coop from Garage and Reviews. I'll see you next time. Peace.